Hey guys, Spectre here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mix up a texture pack because as you guys know, I am planning for a new series to come out and I decided to just walk through this process of putting a series together with you guys. So the first thing that I tend to do is find the perfect texture pack. Now this can be a little bit annoying because sometimes you get texture packs and you really really like it but then you can't there are certain aspects about it that just doesn't work so just gonna show you guys how to bring together two separate texture packs and I just skipped ahead of myself right there anyway the first thing you want to do is basically um, new window basically download a texture pack personally I usually go into planet minecraft there we go Planet Minecraft and then here you'll be able to find the texture packs you can find everything here to be honest but if you click on this it'll bring you to the area with plenty of texture packs things like that download one of them follow their instructions whatever it is you like so when you download it you get this which is a zip folder and you want to unzip them so right here we are going to be using the hmm I think we'll use the dragon dance uh, texture pack as a base so look for once you unzip it look for assets I'm gonna make this window bigger because <laughs> stuff happens okay assets minecraft textures and here you are this is the entire heart of your texture pack so there are a few things in dragon dance that have not been retextured so and some things that I just don't quite like so we're gonna go into cutie craft which is an adorable texture pack minecraft and here you have textures okay first things first um, let's options resource pack I'm gonna show you guys what the dragon dance looks like Dragon Dance is one of my favorite texture packs. It's really, really pretty. And also the creator Steel Feathers creates like dandelion and things like that. And it's just, he does really good work. So this is how the bit looks like. Crafting table, um, clay block, wool, wood, stuff like that. But let's go into game mode zero. So as you can see, the GUI or the item bar at the bottom hasn't quite been changed. The heart and the hunger bar are still the same. So let's change that. Okay, so we're going to go here. And this is the widgets. This is the item bar and things like that. So I can't really make them bigger. So Okay, so we're going to go here in GUI. And when you, when you find a texture pack that doesn't retexture certain things, Obviously, they're not going to have the new textures here. So you can see here there's icon, but there isn't an icon here. So we're going to take the icon and we're going to drop it here. And so you have this cute little bunny icons now with carrots as the hunger bar, things like that. So obviously, this is going to be a lot cuter. Just look at that. It's adorable. And then we're going to go into Entities and Chest. They also didn't change any of the uh, animals, so we're going to change that as well. So we're going to go back into Entities. And we're going to drop maybe... Did they retexture? Yes, they retextured the chicken. Okay, we're just going to drop a chicken there. Uh, for purpose of showing you guys what's going on. And then we're going to go into Items. And... These items are the things in your item bar. You They don't really have a physical form. You just see how it looks like. So we're going to retexture the apples. And once you drag and drop them into the, the base thing that you want to use, you're going to be faced with this. Where an item named Apple Golden PNG already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it with the one you're moving? Replace. So once those have been moved, they will change their form in the game and we're gonna also change the bows because cutie craft has adorable bows so same again replace 
and then we're gonna replace the arrow as well and you know what the bed I think cutie craft has an adorable bed so this doesn't replace the block this replace how the bed looks in your inventory so we're gonna go into the blocks now and we're gonna go into the blocks here and we're gonna look for bed so the bed here you can see there are several files bed feet end, bed side bed feet top, bed head end top you, you get the you get it so you want to drag all of these drag it over here and replace all of it and then what else can we replace we can, we'll replace the crafting table as well because why not so the crafting table one two three grab all of this drop it in and again apply to all replace um, you can also this is basically all the blocks in the game as you can see the leaves and grass will be gray but that is because um, they are based on the color of the biomes so that's hmm we're gonna change the melon because I think the melons here are really cute so melon and this is the melon stem and this is the melon top so we're just gonna grab all the melons drag drop apply to all replace okay um, also here you can find the paintings this is where you drop any painting custom paintings that you might have or you want to replace them it's up to you and another thing that they don't have in dragon dance over here is the particles so drag drop and this will change the particles in the game so you'll have hearts you'll have stuff I don't even know what they do and now is the really important thing where you're going to select all of this right click and then you want to compress the files together into a zip file um, this is basically the same as you would with Windows computer but the thing is with Windows computer is you probably have to go through different methods but the, you're basically trying to do the same thing so we're gonna name this um, ba -la, 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 la and zip. Okay, so once you have that, you're gonna go back to your Minecraft options, resource packs, open resource pack folders, and you're gonna drop ba -la, 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 la inside here. And then you're gonna exit, go back in options, resource packs, and there it is, ba -la, -la, la is right there done and we're going to change the texture pack right now and as you can see the textures have changed the chickens do look different now they follow the new textures uh, bed the crafting table is different now and let's go look at the melons so the melons have changed compared to previously okay another thing that we changed is the particles from when you shoot the arrow. If I remember correctly, Cutie Craft has this adorable little animation from when you shoot arrows, so let us shoot one into space. There you go, you can see the little hearts trailing after it. So yeah, let's... What have I done? Okay, let's go into F5, Game Mode 1, and look at some of the things that we did change as well. So I think that was the apples. So the apples are a lot more adorable now. And I think that was it. Oh yeah, we also changed how the bed looks in our item bar. So yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. There's really nothing to it. But I have some reminders for you guys and they are pretty important reminders. Is that when you use a texture, they belong to the person who created the texture, so you're free to use it for personal use. But when you mix texture packs together or even recolor the textures, you cannot distribute it. I repeat, you cannot be redistributing it under your own name. You can send it, send people back and say like, oh, this texture pack is a mix of Dragon Dance and Cutie Craft, and give people the links. But you cannot give it out. This is because there are copyright laws involved in this and you don't want to get in trouble. 
So, yeah. Also, it's really bad grace to just take someone else's stuff and give it out as though it's your own. So, don't do that. Be nice. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And next episode, I'm going to show you guys how to download mods. So, bye! To here and welcome back to Ragecraft. So, this is the final episode of Ragecraft, which is probably going to be like five minutes long at the most.